In this video, we're going to learn how to scroll a web page using Selenium WebDriver. Hello and welcome to Automate Now. This is Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. Let us begin by going to AutomateNow.io and clicking on Sandbox page. In the last video, we learned how to scroll an element into view. In that case, we use this map as an example, and we scroll this element into the visible area of the browser. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to scroll this web page up or down, like this. Let's head over to the W3C Schools website to learn how we're going to do that. We're going to be using the window object in order to manipulate the browser. As stated here, the window object represents an open window in a browser. This object has different methods that we can call. One of the methods that we have here is called a scroll by, and this scrolls the document by the specified number of pixels. Let's go into this method here to see what it does. And here it gives us an example. If we scroll down, we're going to see that it takes two parameters, the xnum and the ynum, and these are defined here. The xnum parameter represents how many pixels we want to scroll horizontally in the x-axis. And the y num parameter represents how many pixels we want to scroll vertically, or the y axis. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and write that test. And here we have our test, scroll page. And here we're going to call a method called scroll page. We're going to pass an x value of 0 and a y value of 500. Let us go ahead and take a look at this method, scroll page. This is inside of the base page page object. In a rogues on Java doc for this method, and it says scroll the document by the specified number of pixels. And here we're specifying two parameters, an X parameter and a Y parameter. The X is going to be used to scroll horizontally, left and right. And the Y is going to be used to scroll vertically, up and down. And you may have guessed it by now that we're going to be using the JavaScript executor interface because we're going to be using JavaScript code. And here we have the code that we can use from a previous method that we wrote. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste it down here. And here we can say executor dot execute script. The script that we're going to call is the one that we talked about, this window here, window dot scroll by. So let's go ahead and say window dot scroll by. And this takes in two parameters, the X and the Y. And we want to use the X and Y coordinates that are being passed in here. So let's go ahead and do that. You may recall from the last video, when we're using this method to execute a script, we're passing an argument, which is a web element. In that case, the argument was the web element. We were scrolling that element into the view. In this case, we don't need to pass any arguments because we're not looking for a specific element. We're simply scrolling the entire page up or down or side to side. And now we're ready to run our test. Let's go back to the test. And here we're saying a scroll page and then we're saying zero. So we're not gonna be scrolling from side to side. That's why this is zero. And we're saying 500. That is up or down. Notice that when we use a positive integer, it scrolls down. If we use a negative integer, it's going to scroll up. So we should expect it to scroll down 500 pixels. Let's go ahead and run this in debug mode. And we hit the breakpoint. Let's go back to the application. And we can see that we landed on the sandbox page, but no scrolling has happened yet. Let's go back to the code and execute this line here. Now let's go back to the application and notice that it has scrolled down. This is also indicated by the scroll bar here. If I move it up, we can scroll back up. Now let's say that we scroll down 500 pixels. Now we want to go back up 500 pixels. So we would call the same method scroll page and we would say zero comma negative 500. Now let's go ahead and rerun this test. We're at the breakpoint. And if we look at the application, there is no scrolling yet. So let's go ahead and scroll down 500 pixels. Go back to the application and indeed it has scrolled down. Now let's go back to the code. And this time we're going to scroll again, but in the opposite direction. So we should return to where we started from. Let's go ahead and execute this line and go back to the application and notice that it scrolled back up to the original position. And that's how easy it is to scroll up and down on the website. For homework, I would suggest that you pass in this X value as well to see how it behaves. Keep in mind that you will need to find a website that allows you to scroll side to side. In our case, we don't have that ability here to scroll from side to side. Have fun with that. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.